Jimmy, straight ahead, straight ahead. Tiffany, right in front of you. I'm excited to present this next award because this designer was the first person to ever make a custom dress for me. It's the first person that ever said, yes, I want to help her look beautiful. And I'll never forget, it was my first time going to the Oscars. And, um, and I had just came back from Africa and I wanted to wear something from my father's country. I went to go bury my father. My father's from Eritrea. And I really wanted to wear that dress. And my stylist at that time was like, no, you can't wear no African dress. This is a styling moment. This is a high fashion moment. You can't just wear some African princess dress. And I was like, no, I'm gonna represent my people. Um, my father told me before he passed away to always make sure I uplift my people. Look out for your people, respect your ancestors, respect your heritage. And my stylist was, he was on my head about it. He was, he was so on my head, Tiffany, you know what? They're gonna make fun of you. You're gonna be on the worst dress list. It's gonna be the worst thing for you. You gotta wear this Brandon Maxwell dress. And I was like, give me Brandon Maxwell's phone number. He's like, no. <laughs> and he forgot who he was dealing with. I know a lot of people. And I did my research and I got Brandon's phone number. And I called Brandon and I said, Brandon, I saw the dress. I love your dress. I want to wear your dress. But I, it's important to me to honor my father. He said, honey, honey, it's important for you to feel good. In order for you to look good, you have to feel good and you have to feel like you are doing the right thing. But I'm so excited and so honored to be able to present my friend, one of, for me, the best designer of all time, the first one who ever actually wanted to put me in their clothing and made something for me. Please make a whole lot of noise for designer of the year, Brandon Maxwell. Stand up for Brandon Maxwell. But I want to really say thank you to everybody and that um, I actually have had uh, really suffered a lot with, um, although it doesn't seem like it right now, thank you to the wine sponsor, but I have had a lot of um, anxiety um, in my life. And it's pretty easy for me to make a dress. Um, it's not so easy for, it's not ever been so easy for me to look at myself in the mirror every day. And um, that's been the hardest thing in my career is to, you know, I'm sure like everybody, I mean, you guys make records and like have Oscars and stuff like um, you do have real jobs. And that's, and, but you know, it never feels good when you pour your heart into something and it's not reviewed well or it doesn't, and you have to look at yourself and, and you know, you've got two pairs of Spanx on and everybody looks great and you're just like, what the hell am I doing here? You know what I mean? So that's been my whole career. Um, and I think I'm probably, maybe I, someone told me that this award is happening because I just did a show that, you know, normally I do 500 people show, person shows and everybody comes and takes a lot of pictures, but this time I did like a 75 person show because my grandmother who raised me, um, has Alzheimer's and she's now forgetting the, she brought me up in a store to make clothes and, and as my career is happening, she's unfortunately not able to be a part of that. Um, and so much of my life has changed because of that over the last two years because um, it's put a lot into perspective for me. I no longer feel that I need to be for everybody. I no longer feel that I need to um, be out there all the time.